Hey everyone! Did you see Philadelphia Cream Cheese's new ad campaign? Whew, the way it is slamming their competitors. It's a real schmear campaign. Happy Cheese Friday, everyone! Hey everyone, welcome to the Radical Geek YouTube channel. This is Cheese Friday, and as you may have guessed, we're going to talk about uh, cream cheese. And you might be saying, but Matreya, you've already done a cream cheese. And last time we did regular Cheese Friday, where we uh, did all the rundown about the fact that it's a cow's milk, and we even went through the process of making it from scratch. And on top of that, recently two Crazy Ketos did an Instapot version of making cream cheese. So you had a lot of cream cheese stuff, but I thought we would talk a little bit more about how versatile of a cheese this is. And also we would do a quick little recipe because initially I was thinking we'd be outside for our live stream, but you guys, we are looking for rain and we have very early this year entered the Satan's front porch version of uh, summer. So I think that probably I don't know if we're going to make it outside or not. Not only do I not want to be out there in the rain, I also don't want to be out there in the rain like it's a sauna pouring down upon me. So I thought, you know, sometimes cooking outside is not what works out the best for us. So let's do a version of those uh, smoker pig shots inside in our air fryer. Um, I have the Omni Plus Instapot uh, air fryer. So it is a large capacity. It is a multi cooker because it is a toaster oven and has a rotisserie and all that fun stuff. But we're going to just use plain old air fryer. And so for those of you who don't have out there cooking, maybe you're in a flat or an apartment and so you don't have to miss out on these crazy uh, little dishes. We'll walk you through it here. So pig shots are uh, smoked sausages wrapped in bacon with a, cream, a seasoned cream cheese filling. And then usually you throw it on the smoker and at the end you'd brush on a barbecue sauce. But today we're going to do a little jalapeno topper and we're frying the whole thing off in the air fryer for a tasty little uh, side dish and we will talk about the cream cheese. And while things are cooking, I'm gonna tell you uh, four or five different uses for cream cheese other than just straight up eating it or uh, stuffing it into other things. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's get this open. It's our cream cheese. Uh, we'll clean up later. Uh, all right, so. And this is softened cream cheese, so I left it out on the counter. Uh, and now we have to get into the cream cheese, which is always a ridiculous pain. But, uh, here we go. Maybe. Oh, I can't get into it. Why, cream cheese, are you thwarting me? There we go. You gotta find where the uh, tin foil has a little bit of an opening so you can get in here and rip it out. So this softened cream cheese, uh, we're just going to plop it right into a bowl. And you need soft because we're going to mix it together with seasoning. And here's the great thing is you can season it however you like. Do you like a little onion and garlic? Great. Do you like even more hot and spicy? Add more hot and spicy. Uh, do you, you know, you want chives and uh, even more bacon? Throw in your cooked bacon bits. It's all good. However you want to season it is up to you. I have some, uh, I'm going to call it my barbecue, oh, a barbecue mix. I would not say this is the barbecue mix because I use a lot of different things. But I've got uh, a little bit of smoked salt, some paprika, some chili powder, uh, a little bit of uh, ghost chilies uh, flaked off in there. Uh, cumin, uh, garlic powder. Mm, it smells really good. 
and uh, a little bit of powdered chipotle. So, and a, I said smoked salt. Yep. And then a little grind of black pepper. Kind of gives it that barbecue-y sort of flavor because I'm choosing not to glaze them at the end. And that's, so that's my preference. But you take your softened cream cheese into a bowl, sprinkle on your seasoning, be fairly generous, but not so generous that it's going to overwhelm the entire meal. And then we're just going to take this and mix it all together. We might have to do yet another cream cheese video uh, later in the fall where we smoke it. Smoked cream cheese is freaking awesome. If you haven't tried it before or had it either made it yourself or had some at a party with some uh, uh, little things for the side, then you are in for something awesome. Right now, I don't like to smoke cheeses. I know we've talked about doing smoked cheese for Cheese Friday, and I'm 100% in favor, but I don't like to do it in the summer because you cold smoke cheese. And in the summer, the smoker, even if you all you do is put a smoke tube in there, it's just way too warm and your cheese gets sweaty. And I find that the product, the end result is not, is a little bit inferior. Anyway, so that is all there is to the cream cheese mixture. Now let me talk to you a little bit about these pink shots. I'm going to make a very small batch. The nice thing is as many smoked sausage as you want. Uh, cut them into nice little thick discs. You want them to be about, oh you can't even see that because of my coffee background. Uh, sorry. Anyways, you cut them into oh, three quarters of an inch thick and then about the round. I have cut my regular bacon slices in half. Oh, I touched that before I put my gloves on. That's all right. Let's put gloves on now so we don't get gross and dirty. Uh, let's go ahead because we're going to touch bacon. And we're also going to cut up some jalapeno. So let's cut the jalapeno first. And this is, by the way, the jalapeno from my garden. You can see that it is dark, dark, dark green, almost purpley. I've almost let it go to red, but I, I wanted the jalapeno right now and I didn't want to wait like another week for it to go red. So, but I did let it get deeply purple. So, and it does have like some little teeny white uh, veins. So it will be hot and spicy. Now, if you are not into the hot and spicy, I still think the jalapeno topper adds a lot to the dish. So you would de-seed it. I, however, am not. I am going to just go ahead and cut my slices right off of there and leave the seeds in the middle right in. I just need eight slices. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting. Six, seven. Oh. Okay, so this is super cool, and okay, just a second, I'm going to slip this glove off so I can get my camera. I want to take a picture of this so that I can post it online, and you can see how they look later, because they did start to go red on the inside, so it's super cool. Sorry about that in the video, though. I know that's not like the politest video videography thing, and you would think, well, maybe I should edit it out, but you know, I'm not going to. Um, anyway, so we're like halfway done already. So, but you take your sausage, you take a piece of your bacon, and you're going to wrap it around your sausage. You want to get it fairly snug. It's sort of slipping a little bit, but that's all right. And then what you do is you secure it with a toothpick going right through, let me find my seam, and you bring it all the way through to the other side just to hold everything good and steady, which it is not. Jab that in. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to stand that up in your basket. This will matter in a minute, but you've got in here, basically now you've got a tube with a hole in it and your sausage in the bottom. And we will wrap the rest of these. 
and prepare for the next step, which will be the filling. And I'm going to show you some stuff there on that. And while I'm doing this wrapping, though, I will talk to you a little bit about the cream cheese and those things that I told you about that it is good and useful for and why cream cheese is an excellent staple to keep in your keto uh, refrigerator. Really, it's great if you're not keto as well. It's just super delightful and tasty, but I think that it holds a special place in the, in the keto heart because it has a high fat ratio and uh, very low in carbohydrates. It's not zero carbs, of course. One ounce is one, but it fills you up really fast. So there are a lot of things to the cream cheese that really helps out a lot and that is really super beneficial on a keto food plan. So uh, it's a one part. So that's, that's the benefit, one of the benefits of the cream cheese. So, but things you can use it for. It's super nice because you can use it for savory or sweet. You can certainly sweeten it. It makes a really nice dessert. And you can, uh, and you can use it to fill things like uh, crepes. Uh, we've made crepes on this channel before. We use, I've, I've tried a lot of recipes and quite frankly, I'm going to say that the uh, gelatin and egg white powder with a, with a yolk mixed into it, uh, designed by Indigo Neely, has really been one of the better keto crepes ever for me. And a thousand times better than almond flour, uh, definitely way easier and less fiddly than uh, coconut flour. Uh, I found them uh, slightly tastier with the egg yolk than without. And so I just really found that to be excellent all around, a crepe filling. And you can take it when you're filling crepes both ways, savory or sweet. Once again, uh, mix some cream cheese in and sweeten it up a little bit and have it with your lemon curd in those crepes. Fantastic. Use it to as a uh, chive and onion cream cheese in with your egg filled crepe. Yes, eggs inside your eggs. Uh, hello, this is a keto channel, so uh, that kind of thing will happen. And there's uh, every reason to thoroughly and completely enjoy it. So I'm just getting here and open this one up. My bacon fold it in. There we go. So uh, there are just so many different things that you can do with it. It's an excellent for sauces. If you want to make a nice sauce, uh, savory sauce, it's great at uh, uh, making a, a, a tangier cheese sauce. It is excellent for thickening soups and you can use it to make a pastry dough combined with your pork rind crumbs or your almond flour. Uh, for like a for a fat head dough, so super super versatile there. Um, other things, uh, it is a great emulsifier. It is excellent in, to have on the side as part of a cheese ball recipe. You can see we're making filling, so you're stuffing things with it. Uh, let me get back to that. We're gonna do two things here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one glove off and. Uh, sorry, my machine is doing something weird. Let me just make sure. Okay. Uh, all right. So now I just need this to hold. We'll have to wash my hands in between. Let's do it. So, but I need to get this cream cheese into my piping bag. Don't worry. If you don't have a piping bag, this is not fancy piping. And honestly, pi fancy piping is overrated. But I have them on hand anyways. They're great for me. But if you don't have them, no worries. Take your Ziploc bag and then cut just the corner off and fill up your uh, your zip your zip bag. We will not be using all of this cream cheese on these eight little uh, pig uh, pig shots. We will use part of it and then the rest of it. I have a little cap that I can put on here. Uh, 
and use it to stuff some jalapenos later and I will be a very happy individual. So let me just get this. So there's going to be some crinkling. And in the meantime, let me also go ahead and turn on the air fryer. Air fry, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. Let's get this preheating while we fill these up. So let me this stuff out of the way and get my tongs for later move my dinner plate out of the way bring this closer so I have good control I'm just gonna move my cream cheese down in the piping bag so that's one thing it really does make it easier for me just because I can be a little rough on it quite frankly the cream cheese could be even just a little softer but you know, hey, if you don't plan ahead enough, that's only the cook's fault. So you just take it, and we're just going to pipe this in. I say, maybe. I have to put some muscle into it. There we go. It's filling my little cup. It doesn't use a ton. It's going to just take, like, maybe a tablespoon, not even a whole tablespoon. But, you, and you don't want to do too much, you don't want to overfill these either because one of the things that will happen is that the cream cheese will puff up. So, there we go. Let's get that in there. Give it a nice little swirl. Doesn't have to be swirled. Just got to get the cream cheese jammed in there. I should also mention that I have rheumatoid arthritis, so sometimes these are a little harder for me than other people because I don't have good grip with my hands. But I find that's another thing that the piping bag really enhances. It's still hard, but definitely not as hard as uh, many other ways. And definitely, I will tell you, scooping this stuff in there by hand with a little spoon is horrible. It gets very, very messy, and it just doesn't work out that great. Here we go. Almost there. Um... I have another really great trick to do with your cream cheese. Uh, if you soften it up and then you mix it with a little bit of artificial sweetener um, and an egg yolk. Yes, you heard me right, an egg yolk. You get that good and mixed up, your softened cream cheese, an egg yolk, and some artificial sweetener. It's great if you mix it with a little bit of your regular uh, sweetener and then a little bit of the uh, a brown sugar substitute. Uh, mix that all together and then make your keto brownie mix and swirl that cream cheese stuff on the top before you bake it. And let me tell you, that is amazing. It also, uh, it plays up really well. I'm going to go back and just do a little bit more into this first one. There we go. I know. What did I say? Don't overfill those, Matreya. Uh, that's not good for your end result. But what did I do? I'm overfilling them because I don't care. I'll just clean out my air fryer. But now the easy part, you just take this and you, let me find the, uh, oh, a smaller one for this end cap. You just squeeze down the tops with these jalapenos. Mm. Spicy deliciousness. Give it a little squish if you need to, to make sure that they adhere into the cream cheese. And my Instapot is not 100% preheated, but it should be pretty close. And uh, these are how they look. So you can see, and one of course just fell over, so I'll pick it back up and reset it. Switch that back down in there a little bit, make sure it's sturdy. Voila. So now we get to put this right into the air fryer. You see it's just right on the basket. Slide that right in. 
Ooh. And then now we'll cook for 20 minutes. We'll take them out. And uh, I can't wait to share it with you. So let's see. What did I tell you? We did crepe fillings. I talked to you about cheese sauce, which goes well on pretty much any vegetable. Uh, I talked about your pastry dough, fathead dough application. Uh, you And I talked about the brownie topping. Uh, two more things. Uh, oh, I might have said soups already, but let me tell you, if you are making a creamy soup, and it's like maybe a, like a broccoli cheese soup or a, a creamy cauliflower soup or a cream of chicken soup, throwing in some of that cream cheese really enhances the thick and creaminess of it, but then also adds just a little bit of a tanginess to it that really super helps uh, pop up the flavor of those cream soups. And lastly, I know a lot of keto people really love ice cream. We love ice cream. So... If you were making your ice cream base, think about using that cream cheese as, as some of the fat in your ice cream base. And it gives it a bit of a different tangy sort of cheesecakey almost aspect to the flavor profile. It's really good. Uh, I will tell you the uh, lemon with, uh, the, uh, uh, with the cream cheese really blends well. Uh, so... Those are some different ideas for cream cheese. I hope that you like that we're going through some different uses for the cream cheese. And in a few minutes, we'll be down to pull this out. I'm going to take a quick break and just tidy up down here a little bit in between. And we'll be ready to taste and try it. So happy Cheese Friday, everybody. Hope you like this quick little recipe. All right, everyone. So we have one minute left here. It's counting down. And then we will uh, pull our pig shots out, put some on a plate, give it a second to cool down before I shove the whole thing in my mouth uh, because it will be spicy, but I don't want to burn my tongue uh, from heat. So uh, I was talking about uses for uh, cream cheese, and I mentioned using it in fathead dough. I don't know if you guys are interested. Did you want to see... Uh, I had dough, uh, toaster, strudely sort of pastry at some point in time? If yes, let me know in the comments. Uh, the other thing is I have used a frozen disc of cream cheese in a stuffed waffle before, but I do have like a more savory tone on that if you guys want to see that stuffed waffle recipe. It's actually a good high contender for my uh, live stream on Sunday because I'm going to pair with a very sweet drink. All right, so this is going off. Just pull these out. I'm protecting my tablecloth from meltiness. Oh, one of them lost the top because, like I said, the cream cheese expands. But you can see how they're looking. Give a slightly less awkward grab. Maybe, you know, the, the gloves. So there we go. And we'll, we'll put them on the plate and uh, try one out. So, but my jalapenos are super crunchy, crispy, like little spicy jalapeno chips on top. My bacon is cooked, and, but it's a softer bacon. If you want your bacon to be hard and crispy, I know that's some people's preference. It will still be soft on the inside because it's surrounded by cream cheese. Uh, but if you want it crisper, before you cook it, you need to par cook it a little bit. I don't find that that's a benefit in this in this particular application. Put my little topper back on. So, uh, be mindful of the toothpicks because they are not pleasant. If you bite one, make sure that you remove them for serving. Or that you have like 9 million uh, warnings on your dish that there's a toothpick there. Because inevitably you know someone is going to um, bite into it and have problems. So make sure that that is a warning that you give. So uh, this one has like the little crispy on top. one there you go you can just see how lovely it is it's a really really nice a little bit you know it's popular in barbecue circles but you don't see these at parties a lot and i don't know why because they're just uh really delightful 
My toothpick is stuck. There we go. Uh, they're nice uh, paired with other stuff, especially if you have like a nice little web salad for the side. There you go. So you can see it all on the plate. They look pretty nice. Uh, like I said, and uh, I, I like the crispy jalapenos. If you don't want crispy jalapenos just a little bit cooked off and you want more of that fruity uh, flavor as opposed to a spicy chip, uh, do not put them on at the beginning like I did. Wait until halfway through the cook, then put them on. So, but that's, so that's important uh, to note. And uh, back to the cream cheese while we wait for this to cool down a little bit. I mentioned using it on your uh, cheesy dishes, like in a in your uh, collie, your loaded cauli rice or a loaded broccoli. If you do that, I want you to know that in addition to just in your mix, when you usually mix it in with cream cheese and a little bit of cream, often sour cream as well, and then your shredded cheese. Do note that if you save some uh, cream cheese for uh, after that. And then at the end, uh, like, oh, three quarters away through the cook, go and drop dollops of that cream cheese across the top. Fantastic. It plays well in those casserole type dishes. So the cream cheese, super, super versatile. And if you make a creamy pie or a no bake cheesecake in that coconut flour cr uh, pie crust, uh, two crazy ketos recipe, made it many times it's a really great crust it's actually really good whether you're keto or not keto it's a fantastic crust but if you replace a little bit of the butter with a little bit of really hardened uh, uh and uh crumbled cream cheese and you roll that into the dough that also really cooks up extra nice and gives that a little bit of a different flavor profile to your pie so that is another application it's a really versatile thing and if you hearken back to the 70s when Dr. Atkins did his second release, The New Diet Revolution book, and he talks about uh, some ketogenics, he does mention that if you are looking to really uh, uh, go crazy for a couple days, that you can do a fat fast. And one of the things he recommends is uh, a couple times a day, just eat a whole ounce of cream cheese along with a, like three or four macadamias. And that should help you get through that fat fast for a day or so. So lots of good ideas there. And like I said, just a super awesome dish. Let me make sure that I'm not going to burn my mouth on uh, broiling cream cheese. By the way, your sausage gets crispy as well. So, all right, here goes. It's a really big bite, so bear with me because it takes a lot. And it is still pretty hot, so I might burn my mouth. So you'll have to deal with that too. Mm. I'm salivating because I'm really hungry too. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Oh, yes. Fan. Fantastic. So, 100% recommend. And remember that in your cheesiness for your cheese Fridays or any day of the week that you're having cheese, uh, cream cheese is an excellent part of your cheese staple. So, have yourself an awesome cheese Friday, and I will see you Sunday on our live stream for a coffee talk. Let me know what other ideas you have. I do still have mascarpone on my list of cheeses, but they didn't hold it for me at the grocery. I went and they're like, oh, we had some in, but it sold out. It's like, I asked for you to order it and hold me. I wanted four containers of it. And they sold it out from under me. So it's still on my list. I did not forget. And I promise you, we will have our more scopone. So uh, let me know any other ideas you want to see, other things you'd like to see. Uh, other cooking ideas, uh, especially coffee drinks you saw that you want me to make, you name it. I'm here for you as much as I am for me. So, uh, also, we're getting really, uh, we're about uh, 130 or so subscribers away from 500, which will give us the community tab so that we can uh, 
throw up a couple little tidbits here and there once in a while. And when we hit 500, I do have a sponsor who has a really nice gift for us to give away. So if you're not subscribed and you're running across this channel, hit that little subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you get notifications when we upload or go live. And hopefully we get to see you on Sunday nights when we all work together and uh, have our uh, lovely uh, warm beverages. Or maybe this weekend it's going to be a cold beverage, but we're going to brew it. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.